It's Saturday, August 14th, about 8.30 a.m. We're on Frederick Sound right now, right where it joins Stevens Passage, and we're headed towards Admiralty Island. We left Petersburg about a half an hour ago. Got a Salmon Seine opening today, so we're going to go out and try to locate the Salmon Seine boats in this area, see where they're fishing, get a count of them, get the names of them, and plus do a little bit of salmon surveying. Swing the camera around here. We're looking down Frederick Sound. Again, that's uh, Admiralty Island right ahead of us. And that's Pi towards Pibus Bay there, just on the right side of the camera. Coming up on Admiralty Island now, kind of over the top of some thin fog, pointed right at Little Pibus Bay. I'm going to go over here towards the shoreline, kind of start turning to the left a little bit, and we'll follow the shoreline down around Admiralty Island, uh, deep water, and then into Eliza Harbor. Again, we're looking for boats and looking for fish and looking at the scenery. That's Little Pibus Bay, nice and wide open over there, but we're not going over there today. Beautiful little spot, it's one of the major salmon systems in this area. You know, just keep heading here to the southwest. Uh, looking at the scenery, that there just to the left of the nose is the north end of QU Island. We're going to be heading over there a little bit later. And then in the see I'm turning back around now looking back to where we came from back east down Frederick Sound surprisingly there's no boats out here fishing we fly along the shoreline here looking for fish you look real close, I don't know whether you can see them in this video or not, but you'll see some splashes down there, and that's fish jumping. There are some schools of fish along there, and pretty good show of fish moving along that shoreline. Coming up into the outer portion of Eliza Harbor right now, I'm going to turn into this outer bay right here, and there's a stream right here on the right called Wawudski Stream, uh, Wawudski Creek. I'm going to do a flyover of it and look for fish in that. We're counting fish there. There's jumpers outside of us and stuff, but we're kind of looking to see what's going into the stream to escape. And then we'll go ahead and go on up into Eliza Harbor itself. I'm going to fly over the tidal portion of this stream here first, the outlet portion of it here, the delta, whatever you want to call it, and look for fish here. And I don't really see anything in here, but we have seen fish here before. Of course, this is where they got to come to when they start up the stream. But I'm going to go ahead and circle over it. And as I'm circling over it, I'm looking ahead, and I can see fish in what we call the inner tidal portion of the stream. That's the portion of the stream that raises and lowers with the tide. Coming right into view at the top center right now, that little elbow right there, all that dark mass is all fish, all pink salmon. And then as you look, as it goes around that corner underneath those trees, there's fish there underneath those blowdowns and along that one edge. And then right up there underneath where the trees are, where it just starts getting brushy, all that dark mass underneath that, those trees is all fish there. So it's a pretty good amount of fish for that little stream. Well, we got those counted, and now we're going to head into Eliza Harbor.
As we come into Eliza Harbor, we can see fish jumping all over the place here. There's quite a few here in the outer portion of the bay. We can see a boat up there, kind of in the center, um, just in the center of the screen, or upper left center of the screen. That's a saner, and that's what we're here for, is to get his name and see where he's fishing and what he's catching. Oh, again, I know on this you can see a lot of fish jumping around the area there. Now the boat is there on the left in the lower corner coming into the middle now and then his net stretches out all the way around to the shore and they have what they call a seine skiff on the end of the net and they're pulling, actually they're holding that against the current waiting for the fish to back out of there with the current into the net and then they'll close up and pull that net tight, purse it up, that's why they call it a purse seine. They purse it up and load the fish into the boat. Looks like they're going to do pretty good. They're going to have a good day here. Almost every one of those splashes that you see here, and you'll see here as we swing around uh, into the bay, uh, the harbor, almost every one of those splashes is a salmon, and under every one of those splashes is a school of salmon from anywhere from 100 to 500 fish. There's quite a few fish in here. This guy is fishing in. They've got the inner part of the bay protected to blocked off so that the fish that get in there can get up the river, up the streams to spawn. So this guy is fishing real close to the line there, uh, but he's catching fish. And uh, it's going to be a pretty good day. We got what we came for here, saw that boat, got his name, calculated where he was at, got that all taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and head up back out of the Eliza Harbor, back out into Frederick Sound, and continue towards the southwest, towards Point Gardner. And we're going to be looking again for more fish and stuff along there, and more fishermen. And, uh, just keep enjoying the scenery and the beautiful day. Going by Chapin Bay, it's right there on the right. Beautiful bay, nice tight little bay, just beautiful scenery. Great place to anchor up for the evening or for a day or two. There's a boat going by just in the lower section of the screen. But Chapin Bay is not a salmon system. There's no salmon stream in there. So we just go by on, on by it and now we're going to come into Herring Bay. And 
Herring Bay is split into two sections. You can see the spit sticking out there in the center of the screen divides the two sections. There are two small streams over here on this side. We'll fly over those and look at fish there. And I can see fish there. They, they won't show up on the screen on the, on the video, but there are fish there in the mouths of these two streams. But the main stream is on the other side of that spit that sticks out there. So we'll swing around here, get some numbers of some fish here, and then we'll go take a look at the main stream. I'm going to do the same thing or similar thing here as I did on Wawitski Creek. I'm going to fly around here in the tidal area, the saltwater tidal area, and look for fish here in the mouth of the stream and around on the flats that are just outside the stream. Fish come in here on these flats, come right up against the shoreline and spread out here a lot of times. They're not here today, but this is what we're doing is we're looking for them to see if we can get a count of them. And then I'll come around and head up the main body of the stream and there's quite a few fish in the main body of the stream and some other interesting things to see. I'm going to head up the main body of the stream now. This first area is intertidal, and that's the area that raises up and down with the tide water as it floods in and out. As we come around this S curve right here, there's quite a few fish down in the channel here, and you can see some blowdowns and stuff here as we come around this corner. There's schools of fish there. Almost all of the dark that you see down there in the water is fish. A bunch of birds flew by there in the bottom edge of the screen. There was fish there. And then there's some blowdowns here in the stream. I just kind of buzzed over. We'll skip back to them in a second. You can see those fish. Uh, now there's a bear right there in the green part. There he goes across the creek chasing fish right now, just where that bunch of trees is in the lower corner. And that's a bunch of fish. He just ran into a bunch of fish and grabbed one. And then he'll go up on the bank right there where that log is and eat it while we're flying around. He's not running from the plane, he's running to catch fish. And all that dark in the lower center there that's pivoting around now, that's all fish right there. There's uh, several thousand fish in that stream right there. Coming back out into Frederick Sound, and we're looking at Chatham Straits, the far distance over there, the snow-capped peaks at Baranoff Island. You can see that little snake-looking head there that goes out the little peninsula. We're going to head over the top of that. That's actually an island right there. It's called Carroll Island, where it sticks out. And uh, we're
we're going to go over that. Yeah, there's looking down Chatham Straits towards the Pacific Ocean. Well, anyway, like I said, we're going to go over this little spit of land, and then there's some more area ahead of us called Tai'e, Murder Cove. And what we're doing is heading for the uh, southwest corner of Admiralty Island called Point Gardner, and there'll be guys fishing there. I don't get any video of that because it was fogged in right there. Uh, and we are flying around on top of the fog trying to get the names of the boats. Had a tough time doing that and I couldn't take any video of it. Well, the next video will be headed over towards QU Island. So this is where Frederick Sound ends and Chatham Street begins. We're crossing Frederick Sound here now on its westernmost edge, headed towards the northern end of QU Island, and that's looking down Chatham Streets out to the Pacific Ocean, Baranoff Island there on the right. Beautiful day today, almost flat calm. Uh, two days ago there was 15, 20 foot seas out here. And we're going to head towards uh, Security Bay that's right there on the line that the aircraft is headed towards and we're going to look at fish there and that point we're headed towards is called Kings Mill Point and that's kind of the northwestern end of QU Island. But we're going to go into Security Bay first, look at fish there, and then we're going to come back out around and go around QU Island around Kings Mill and look for boats there. Coming into Security Bay, you can see five boats down there. The closest one is a Saner that's broke down working on his boat. And the next two big ones there are tenders. They're ones that the Saners deliver their fish to when they get too full to pack anymore. The one in the middle of them that, that's coming towards us is a pleasure boat, charter boat, something like that. He's coming out of the bay, was probably anchored up in there for a night or two. And then there's one going away from us. He's going in there to anchor up. That's another tender. It's a popular spot for people to come in and anchor up to get out of the weather or just enjoy the scenery. And of course the tenders stay in here and the saners come and trollers come and deliver their fish to them. So this is the inner part of the bay. This is kind of a salt chuck tidal area in here. And this is where the fish come in to before they go up into the streams. And we get up in here, you'll be able to see a lot of fish. I don't know whether you'll be able to see the fish or not, but you can see them jumping anyway. Now this is all tidal area here that uh, floods with the flood tide and goes out with the tide in this little bay ahead of us is kind of a salt chuck and then you can see the stream coming out of it that's where the fish actually go in to spawn this little neck right here that we're going through I'll look down at that in a second and you can see it looks just like the water's boiling with all the fish in it and then right there at the mouth of the stream when I get up there yeah there you go yeah, you can see there's a lot of fish down there all pink salmon mostly pink salmon there's some chum salmon in there and some coho salmon too Right here, there's a little drop-off where that stream uh, comes out and the gravel bar comes out and it drops off in the deeper water. There's several thousand fish right there.
We're out of Security Bay now, heading around Kings Mill Point and down this shoreline. Going to enjoy the scenery a little bit as we go down here. There's a lot of sandy beaches along here and not a condo or a hotel around on any of them. Well, anyway, like I said, we're going around here and enjoy the scenery and then we'll get out around the point. There's a, a few more fishing boats out here. We'll buzz by and take names and then we'll call it a day and go home.